I'm making a video today about the rickshaw drivers and how important their jobs are. What do you think about them? Uh, they are very hard worker and uh, suffering with the cold environment. Exactly. Okay. How are you? Salamu alaikum. Can you take me one kilometer? There's one thousand for you. Two thousand. Three thousand. I like your beard, man. Very nice. What do you think about the people that ride these rickshaws? It's an incredibly hard job, isn't it? They have to do it, right? They have to do it, huh? They have to do it to survive. My nutrition is pretty low. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 to you. I want to know, like, how much money does he roughly make in one day and how many customers does he have in one day? It's uh, about 1,200 to 1,300 Bangladesh taka. 1,000, 2,000, 3. 4,000 because I appreciate you so much. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in the crazy city of Dhaka, Bangladesh. Now today I got a very special video planned for you guys because we are going to be supporting the hard working men that drive the rickshaws around the city. Now over the course of the last week that we've been here, Brad and I have actually been quite shocked. Let's cross this street. We've actually been quite shocked because, well, you know what? Let's go this way, actually. These are the rickshaws that I'm talking about, but we've been quite shocked that over the course of the last week, a lot of the people that have been giving us rides around the city, they're elderly people, definitely up there in like their 70s, 80s, and man, it is an incredibly tough job. In fact, a lot of times I feel bad getting on the back of their vehicles but at the same time I know that that's how you contribute to them making a living now their jobs here in the city are incredibly important and I feel like a lot of people take it for granted especially a lot of the people that are doing well here in the country so today we're gonna bless every rickshaw driver that we ride with with a nice blessing we're gonna pay them about 400 times the amount of a normal ride now Brad what have you been taking away from the experiences on the back of a rickshaw so far? It's crazy, man. First of all, the traffic is just nuts. So these guys are working hard. They're taking risks. They are weaving all over the place. It's not an easy drive, but man, even though they're working so hard, they're so friendly. Every single one is super nice. They smile, they greet you, and they're not as greedy as some other places that I've been. You yeah. negotiate with them early on, and they hold to that price. It's yeah, cool. and a lot of them, hey, what's up guys? Salam Alaikum. Doing great, man. Having an amazing time in Bangladesh. Nice Beautiful country, man. Yo, Thank you. Thank you. Where the United States, California. Okay, where are you heading to? Thank you. Thank you. Bailey Road. Bailey Road. Yeah, man, for the good food. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Arjun. Arjun, nice yes. to meet you, man. I'm making a video today about the rickshaw drivers and how important their jobs are. What do you think about them? Uh, they are very hard worker and uh, Suffering with the cold environment. Exactly. Okay. And the pollution. Yeah, pollution. Yeah, man. Right. I I think they're very special people and everyone we've talked to is so honest and hardworking. Yeah. Take Thank care, you. brother. Thank you for that. What's your name? Travel with Chris on YouTube. Okay. Thank you, brother. So you heard it from a local himself. They're very hardworking people. And as Brad mentioned, they're working in very hard environments. And you see a lot of young rickshaw drivers out on the streets as well. But today we're going to look for those elderly people. We've had some stop and sing to us we've had some offer us free rides so today we're gonna pay it forward and I'm gonna show you guys just how important these people are in the city so you know what let's start walking around and we're gonna look for the right opportunity to hop onto a rickshaw drive now as I mentioned we're looking for we're looking for those elderly people today because there's a lot of young people doing this profession as well in the city but I want to help those who have probably had many years of tough work here on the streets of Bangladesh and within this video you guys will be able to appreciate the blessings that you have in your life because this here is an incredibly tough job and in my opinion it's one of the hardest I've seen I couldn't do it I couldn't I do could it not do that. I could not do it so a lot of respect to these people but yeah these here are the rickshaw bikes they're found on every corner found literally everywhere in the city but all of these guys here look a bit young now there's no doubt in my mind that you know, they could use a blessing as well, but because we are limited on funds, we're not the richest people in the world, today we're gonna bless um, the elderly, as I said, because 
Yesterday, man, I was on the back of one of these bikes, and I just couldn't help but think, like, what if that was my grandfather um, riding around the city with two guys on the back, and some even have four or five people on them. So you know what? Let's check this out. I mean, look at this gentleman. He's pulling all of this on a bike. How crazy is that, right? Okay, we'll find somebody here soon. I don't want to walk too far. Because walks here in Bangladesh, they're super entertaining and it's very easy to get distracted and I don't want that today. So let's see who um, rides by us with an empty carriage. But yeah, I mean, look at these individuals, man. A lot of them look extremely exhausted, but they have to get up every single morning to do this job. I mean, Brad, how many times have you woken up in the morning with pain in your body oh, at man. this young age? Yeah, I struggle already. I can't imagine being their age and having to wake up and, you know, know that, man, it's going to be another tough day. Yeah, like, it's crazy. You know, these some people, days, go ahead. These people are often like, they look very malnourished. I know that they're working hard for not very much money. And I don't even know if they're able to feed themselves properly. So, yeah, they're able to still ride on these bikes and pull tons of weight. It's amazing. And one thing we've learned is carry water bottles with you guys. <laughs> the other day we, we handed a water bottle to one guy, he opened it and chugged it and he was like, oh, thank you so much, thank you so much. I needed that water. And you can imagine, you know, spending money on a water bottle is probably taking out of the, the money that they have to eat as well. So be kind to others and you'll receive kindness as well. Okay, I don't know exactly how long we're gonna wait here for the right person, but you know what, maybe, you know what, we'll stand right here and I'll tune back in as one pulls on by because the perfect person will come. Now, what, am, what can I say so far? I'm loving this place, it's awesome. Oh, this is an amazing city. It's like a beautiful chaos. I've said it <laughs> over and over again, but the energy, once you're out here on the streets, it's contagious and you want nothing more but to be riding around on rickshaws and in the tuk-tuks and just having a good time. It's those people's smiles, man. I love it. I love yeah. it. You just walk up to a group of people and they all want to shake your hands. They all want to smile and, oh man, I'm trying to give back to these people, but they keep giving me free food and they won't take my money. These people are crazy amazing. Yeah, crazy amazing. And everywhere you go in Bangladesh, or we've only been in Dhaka, but everywhere we've gone in the city, man, everybody invites us to tea over and over <laughs> and over again. We drank a lot of tea. A lot of tea in the last few days. All right, guys, well, I'll sign on once, uh, once the perfect person comes down the road. It looks like the light just turned green, so let's see if we can't find the perfect driver coming down this road right now. You know what's crazy is a lot of them keep up with the pace of the cars, too. It's unbelievable, man. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, yeah, I don't see anybody down this street. You know what? Maybe we'll have to keep it walking a little bit. Oh, I do see a gentleman right now. Let's see if this man will take us somewhere. Hello, sir. How are you? Assalamu alaikum. Can you take me one kilometer? Okay, thank you. This is a different kind. This is a different kind. I've never taken this one before. Oh my God. Oh man, this feels incredibly heavy. But yeah, guys, a lot of times in order for them to get momentum, man, they literally have to pull you on the bike just like this. I mean, guys, such a tough job, man. But one thing that we just got done um, asking at the hotel is we asked, what is the normal price for a ride on a rickshaw? Man, he's struggling. Yeah. You can tell like he got a large load on the back of this bicycle. But I mean, he refused to say no. They need the money. This is what I'm telling you guys, man. These people are just incredibly hardworking. You know what? I don't know if I can keep going right now. Dude, this, yeah. this is, he's not even able to sit yeah, down. Yeah, he's not even able to sit down right now. You know what? We'll take it to the corner and I'll keep talking to you guys and then we're gonna bless this man for, yeah, not even a kilometer of a drive. There's no way he can do this. Yeah. But this uh, they told us that it's about 50 taka per kilometer. Hello, sir. You know what? Sir, 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 pull over, pull over, pull over, pull over, pull over. Yes. I can't do this no more. This man can't do this. Sir, I have a question for you. Um, let me ask you a question real quick. I want to know how old this man is. How? How old are you? F 50? Are you 50? 50? You 50? Oh, okay. Man, 
Thank you so much. Thank what you, you do, so what you do is a very hard job, okay? How much taka? Taka. How much do I owe you? Me, you. How much do I owe you? How much is in there? Can I see? Wow, man, this guy has 80 taka in his wallet. That's all your money, huh? Okay, here. Let me see. I'm gonna bless you today, sir. There's 1,000 for you. 2,000. 3,000. 4,000. For you, brother. Thank you so much for what you do, man. Your job's important, okay? Sorry, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you for the ride. I hope that helps you so much, okay? Bless you, don't know but. Okay, so now we're gonna have to continue, but man, you can tell he was grateful. Dude, he opened up his wallet. He had 80 taka, guys, 80 cents in his wallet. We were able to bless him right now with, I don't know the exact conversion, but roughly $40, and that man is gonna be so happy, but I could not continue on the back of that guy's that was uh, bicycle. Like, he was struggling, and that was gonna be a struggle. But there's others that actually get us quite around the city quite fast. You'll see that here in this video, but... Um, At least for him, he doesn't have to keep working all day long. Yeah. He can take a break. He could take a break. I, who knows? Maybe... I can't imagine he makes that in a week. I can't imagine he, held, he holds that much money in his hands ever at once because the money that they make is such a little amount that they have to use that for food that same day. So, there goes the man right now. Bless you, sir. Don't know what. <laughs> Like he's so happy, but man, whatever he has in the back of that vehicle is incredibly heavy, man. Yeah, I don't, I've never seen that guy before. I've never seen that before, but that man um, had the back of that vehicle extremely full. So you know what? I'm not even sure if that counts as a rickshaw. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> wow, this man's fixing his bicycle. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Is your bike okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's keep walking. We're gonna find somebody else to bless, but. I think that was the perfect way to kick off this video. That man was was lovely and he had an awesome smile. Like yeah. he didn't say no to two big ass guys <laughs> getting on the back of that. It's I'm crazy. pretty sure he was older than 50 too. I'll tell you what, I think it was confusion. Yeah. For sure. I think it was confusion for sure. He was definitely older than 50, but let me tell you guys something. If I was pulling that heavy load on a bicycle, first things first, I would not be happy. Second of all, I definitely wouldn't have picked up two more people. <laughs> There's no way. And he would have kept going yeah. if we didn't get off. Like, he was ready to just make that extra money, man. All right, let's find someone else, huh? Okay. That was good. Let's go. Yeah, that was awesome. All right, so let's see who we can find here on these streets. You know what I see? I see a gentleman over in this direction, Brad. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Man, this place is wild, man. Isn't it wild, Brad? Like, walking down the streets is never a dull moment here. It's crazy. All right. Here we'll find somebody else. Wow, I've never seen this version of a rickshaw either. That is crazy. Okay, you know what? Let me look for another perfect person and then we'll make this happen. It looks like this might be like the dust control in the city. This is what they used to like control the dust. You can see it's very hazy. Salamu alaikum. <laughs> I've never seen that before, Brad. Yeah, that's interesting. But it makes sense. That's what keeps the dust down on the ground. Incredibly dusty city. There's, this is a huge construction site right now. I think they're building like a sky train or a, a freeway. I'm not too sure. But you can see it from the hotel. You can see it everywhere. Everywhere. I think that's why my plane wasn't able to land the first day, to be honest with you. All right, guys, I think we found another, another person. Hello, sir. How are you? Assalamu alaikum. How are you? How much to Bailey Road? <laughs> Bailey Road, how much taka? I like your beard, man. Very nice. Can we go Bailey Road? Okay, let's go. Thank you, Don't know what? <laughs> wow. Dude, their smiles are contagious, man. <laughs> Lovely people. You seen his beard? Yeah, it's all How curly. awesome is that? All right, here we go. We are about to hit the mean streets of Bangladesh. Your country is very beautiful, sir. You guys are gonna see right now exactly how crazy it is being on the back of these bicycles, man. And yeah, you just sit in a lot of traffic in Bangladesh. It doesn't matter which form of transportation you use. You know what we haven't tried yet? We haven't tried a motorcycle. There's moto taxis everywhere. We just found out that they're moto taxis. At first we thought they were just like 
people hanging out on the corner with um, motorcycles, but it's not. Wow, look at this guy, dude. He's walking around with a turkey in his hand. You seen that? Yeah. <laughs> the things you see on the back of rickshaws in Bangladesh. But yeah, look at this man. He's about to weave his way through this. Oh, man. It's rush hour here in the city. I wish it was rush hour in the city. It's literally like this every every hour of the day, huh? From early morning when we go get breakfast to late at night. What's your favorite thing about the Bangladesh streets? The people, man. I gotta say the people. Yeah, the people are lovely, huh? Everywhere you walk, there's just people smiling, people to interact with. They always offer stuff. It's crazy. It's a different breed of people, man. <laughs> Bangladeshis are something else. Lovely people. Look at this. Oh, man. Dude's pulling us. But you can tell this guy is in a lot better shape than the, the other guy was a lot older than 50. He was definitely up there. Um, you also got to think, one guy was telling us at the hotel, don't take this the wrong way, but it's facts. Um, a lot of these people are the barely... Unfortunately, they're the ones that are the most uneducated in the country, so a lot of them can't even read, guys. A lot of them have been doing this since a very young age, and this is all they know, so you got to keep that in mind. As you're, as you're walking, as you're traveling around, and make sure that you bless these people, and, you know, even if you gave them an extra dollar, it goes a long way. All right. We'll hang out on the back of this one for a while. We'll go down probably a, a nice kilometer and a half because we are trying to make it to Bailey Road. And then we'll jump off, bless this man, and we'll help someone else. But yeah, a lot of construction going on. This city's like so developing. Look at this. They got cranes everywhere. I can't wait to see what Dhaka looks like 10 years from now. This city is going to be next level, man. I would love to find the first rickshaw driver we had the first day. Yeah, that guy was amazing. He was singing to us and everything. If you guys want to see that video, please head over to my Instagram, at witchchris. That's where you'll be able to find a lot of the exclusive videos that didn't make it here on the channel. But yeah, this man is smashing right now. We're making progress. This is actually like the mechanic shop area of the city, I've noticed. There's always uh, rickshaw CNGs under repair. And I love how, Salam Alaikum. <laughs> I love how they ring the bell. <laughs> very good driver. You're very good driver. <laughs> We're making progress. You know what's funny is that they're always in good spirits too. Yeah. Like the, the, I haven't had one upset like person that's been a rickshaw driver. Oh, this whole trip. Everybody's been super nice. Bangladesh is so busy, man. I want to have a conversation with them, but I can't. <laughs> Language barriers, man, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is fun. But I right. when we find some like students or something, all the young people always have pretty good English. So yeah, yeah, yeah. They very good jump English. in and help us communicate with the older people. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, can I have this water? Let me see if he wants one. Hello, sir. Water, water. Please. You drink right now. All right. He wants to work, man. Salam alaikum. Can you hold this bread? Oh, yeah. How are you? <laughs> Doing great, man. You guys are gonna be like, Chris, you're trying to shake that man's hand and he's riding a bicycle. I don't be thinking straight sometimes, guys, all right? Nice to meet you, brother. How are you? Loving Bangladesh, man. Amazing country. All right, I think we'll just take it a little bit past the next intersection because yesterday we were actually here and we couldn't find a ride. So we'll take it a little bit further down and then um, I'll, I'll sign back on and we'll bless this man. Hello, excuse me, bro. Excuse me, you speak English? You, can you tell him to pull over right here for me? Yes, don't know about. Excuse me, uh, can, can you help me for one minute, please? Um, can, can we pull over right here, sir? Thank you, thank you. Okay, can you, can you help me for a second, please? Thank you. I just want to ask him a few questions. Oh man, people in Bangladesh are so amazing. Like, <laughs> who's gonna just stop out of their busy schedule? Salam alaikum. 
to um, actually help you figure out a problem right now. I'm from the United States, California. Are you from Dhaka? Man, beautiful city, it's awesome. I love the craziness. It's so fun. Yes, right here, sir, right here. Thank you. Oh, no, no, but thank you, bro. I got a question. Can you ask him how old he is? <laughs> 40 years. 40 years old, young man. No, he's older, huh? He's older. Hey, can you ask him how, like, how much does he roughly make in one day? Huh? One thousand. One thousand a day, man. That's this is like one of the hardest jobs in Bangladesh, huh? What do you think about the people that ride these rickshaws? It's an incredibly hard job, isn't it? They have to do it, right? They have to do it, huh? They have to do it to survive. Financial system is very low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, here you go. Um, today I'm gonna bless this man with a little bit more. I'm gonna give him 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 to you. Because he's such a good man. Can you tell him that I really appreciate his smile? Can you tell him? Can you tell him that he's a hard-working, good person, man, and I appreciate him. Thank you, brother. Take care, okay? I hope that helps you, all right? Thank you, man. I appreciate you so much. What was your name? Safar. Safar. Chris, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, Safar, what a legend, man. What a legend. So... Of course, man. Take care, okay? Don't know what. Safad, man, what a legend. So, I think now we actually have to jump on into another one because <laughs> now there's now I've noticed like a couple people like saw us give the money and the same thing happened when I turned the camera off earlier. More people came and asked, which is perfectly normal because you know they see somebody hand over four thousand, which is a lot of money. So, um, but yeah, you guys heard. I think everybody's afraid to share their age. I think when I'm older, I'm gonna just be like, I'm 20. <laughs> because yeah, who, who likes getting old, man? It's a, no one likes that, right? But it's cool to have someone translate as we stop. So he makes roughly 1,000 taka a day, and I can imagine that's on a good day. Yeah. So let's keep it walking, and we'll find someone else to jump onto. All right. Man, incredibly busy streets, all right? Yeah, this is crazy. It's awesome here. There's not a place in the world like Bangladesh. If you need like a culture shock, if you just need to end up somewhere and just feel different, this is where you come in. Alright, well, you know what? Maybe I gotta put the camera down once again too. Seems like it's busy right now. Like usually there's a lot that are empty, but they're all incredibly busy right now. I'll sign back on here in a second. We had to switch sides because, man, that corner was incredibly busy and everybody that was passing by was full. So we're going to keep on walking now. And Brad, we're trying to get to Bailey Road, right? Because we're trying to eat some street food later. So yes, hopefully we can get there on time <laughs> before the sun sets. Salamu alaikum. How are you? Can you take us to Bailey Road? Bailey Road? Bailey Road? Yes. Driving. Yes. Thank you. Salamu alaikum. How are you? How's business today? Slow? Yeah, I'm booking shop. All right. Well, yeah, then this man looks awesome, huh? <laughs> looks like a very friendly guy, doesn't he? We got some smiles already. Yeah, we got some smiles. That's what I love to see. That's what I'm telling you guys. You'll never walk up to a rickshaw rider that's doing this job, and they'll never be sad. They'll never be disappointed. I believe, truthfully, that the Bangladesh government has to do something about these people, something for these people, take care of these people. These people are the heart of Bangladesh. They're what make this country special. Um, amongst other things, but you know, there's not places in the world where you show up and there's as many like This profession doesn't exist in a lot of places in the world and I think it's very important to Withhold the culture of Bangladesh and you can't get rid of these people But I believe that you know, they do deserve like some benefits. They do deserve some help They work hard. Man. They work hard man. We need people like them in this world without them this world will be a completely different place, man. These are the prime example of hardworking men that this world, unfortunately, doesn't have anymore. We like it all easy. Look at me. I'm making YouTube videos because <laughs> I didn't want to wrench anymore. I didn't want to do mechanic work. We live in a new generation where hard labor, people don't want to do it, but somebody has to. And unfortunately, we got to leave it to these elderly men 
to make that happen. So it's always important to, you know, think about those things, man. And as you're traveling to always be con conscious of these things as well. And when you can be able to help others, I'm not saying do it all the time because I don't do it all the time. Um, but if you can, if you're able to, a little help goes a long way. And these people genuinely appreciate it. And look at this, man. No complaints, man. No complaints. You can imagine this man probably has a tough life, but he does not. You wouldn't see it on his face. And that's a beautiful thing. I know so many places in the world where, you know, people would refuse to do this as a job and would just beg for money instead of doing the hard work. But that's not the way things should be. Oh, a lot of produce being sold. A lot of street food, man. This might be a market. This is your. This should. This is probably a market, huh? Don't you wish we had outdoor markets like oh, this man, in the that U.S.? Would be awesome. I love walking through all this. You know, everybody always says, man. When we're in countries like this, well, why don't you spend time at the modern places or go show us the malls? But guys, I don't want to see a mall. A <laughs> mall doesn't make Bangladesh special. Of course, there's modern areas, but this is what makes Bangladesh special, these streets. Uh, the rickshaws, like, we don't have this. It's special to us, isn't it? Yeah, we can walk around and there's just so many things I've never seen in my life. Every corner. Every corner. And I feel like even if you're Bangladeshi and you're watching this, like, Try and step out of the streets or out onto the streets next time you're walking around and try and see your city through the eyes of a tourist. Try and appreciate everything that you have because we talk to a lot of people and we tell them that, man, beautiful country, and they're like, what do you mean beautiful? We don't <laughs> like it. And I'm like, it's beautiful in its own way, man, all right? Obviously, there's not palm trees and white beaches right here where we are in the city, but it's a beautiful kind of crazy. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of traffic. Now this one, unfortunately, we are gonna have to take all the way to Bailey Road because <laughs> we gotta get there. We gotta get there before the sun sets. So I'll turn the camera off right now. Actually, you know what? Let me show you guys a little bit more. I know you guys, you guys love to see these streets. Let me show you guys. So yeah, we're under like an overpass right now. And what I find interesting are these like banners that you always see hanging on lines. They're like hanging on telephone wires all across the city. And they're always super cool to look at. Some of them look like they've been up there for a very long time. You know, did you notice that even from our hotel room, we hear the horns all night? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not even done at midnight. It goes no. into the night. All night long. Yeah, there's always like, it doesn't matter. You know, we talked about this yesterday. It doesn't matter where you are in the city. There's not one piece of the city that's missing like street food vendors or carts every inch of the streets there's something to be found it's not like in some places where like oh i got something in my where like it's the food's only found in like certain areas here it's absolutely everywhere huh? all, across <laughs> all the sides and even inside the street <laughs> oh man but the pollution man it gets to you it gets to you, you smell a lot of exhaust huh oh, like yeah. a lot of exhaust as you're walking around and I noticed that even when we get home at the end of the day, you smell your sweater and it <laughs> smells like exhaust. Crazy, crazy. All right, guys. Well, um, I'll see you in a second because right now, well, we still got about like, a, I think we got about five minutes. You know what? Let me check my phone. I hate pausing the camera because a lot of you guys get upset. You guys are like, Chris, show us more, show us more. So, you know what? We'll keep the camera rolling. Let me see where we are on the, on the map though. I do have Bailey Road marked. Okay, okay. I believe now he's gonna make a, a right. We are about... Oh, we're very close. We're about seven minutes away. So you know what, maybe we'll keep the camera rolling. Why not? Wow, look at this. I mean, you guys are seeing firsthand how important this job is. You guys see the amounts of cycles and carriages on the streets, I mean, the cities depend on these. If one day all of these bikes just went away, I have a feeling that it would be so chaotic out here. A lot of people would be struggling to get from point A to point B. And um, we've noticed that a lot of the bikes, they do like the shorter distance rides because a lot of them refuse when you tell them to take you somewhere far. So you can imagine like even a lot of elderly people depend on these vehicles, man, to get around from elderly. point A to point B. I see a lot, of, a lot of ladies with babies on these things. Yeah, I see a lot of people with kids. All right, well, I'll catch up with you guys here, here in a second. Dhaka, very busy city. 
So crazy. <laughs> Hello, salamu alaikum. Water. For you. For you. For you. For you. Yeah, for you. Wow, look at this building. This one's actually super tall, huh? Wow, that must be one of the town towers. Something. That must be one of the uh, tallest towers I've seen. You know, I don't know how they don't get exhausted like just riding down the block. I promise you, I started riding a bike like right now again when I went home. I finally took the beach cruiser out of the garage and I was like, oh, I'm going to ride it to the beach. And like, bro, I made it about like three miles and I'm talking like on a good bike and I was smoked. <laughs> Maybe that's just because I'm fat and out of shape right now, but I was smoked. Salam alaikum. And they're Man. wearing those different pants and sandals. Yeah, 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 <laughs> true. That's That makes it even a little bit more harder to... Uh, you navigate around but yeah see you guys in a minute man excuse me sir don't know about right here thank you thank you Back up. yes right here right here it's okay thank you oh thank you thank you don't know about excuse me bro excuse me excuse me do you speak English no excuse me do you speak English you speak English yeah can you help me with them real quick can you ask him how much was the ride how, how much taka? Taka for the ride. English are not English. Yeah, I was supposed to go to Bailey Road, but right here because too much traffic. Okay, okay. Um, can you ask him how old he is? How old is he? Old man, no English. Maybe seventy-five. Seventy-five, really? Yeah, but I, I want to know. What? Okay. Oh, that's oh. his bus. I just want to know how many rides does he do in one day? How many rides? Uh, 500. Really? 500 taka a day he makes, roughly. Okay, okay. Man, well, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I appreciate... I think I think this is the hardest job in Bangladesh. But, it, but we need people yeah. like him. We need this job in Bangladesh. Okay. The United States, California. United States. I've yeah, been there. you've been there. Yeah, many times. I'm a marine officer. You're a marine officer, yeah. man. Amazing. I've been there with my ships multiple uh, times. Okay, amazing. I wanna. Can you help me with him, maybe? Push I want. Up, I just wanna ask him a few questions. I wanna bless him today, but um, I wanna know like how much money does he roughly make in one day, and how many customers does he have in one day? It's uh, about twelve hundred to thirteen hundred Bangladesh taka. Okay. And uh, nearly. How much? 10, uh, 10 to 11 US dollars. 10 to 11 US dollars. And that's hard work, huh? That's yeah, non-stop. Really, really hard work. What would you say about the rickshaw drivers in Bangladesh? It's one of the most important jobs, don't you think? They are doing, yeah. Yeah, I think if they don't do it, nobody else will. Nobody else will, yeah. It's such an important job and very, we got to protect very these people. Job, especially for the lower class income people. Yeah. Lower class and middle class people. They usually use this lower class uh, rickshaws and CNDs. No? Yeah. So they're very helpful to these lower class income people. And I heard that a lot of people, especially the elderly and those with kids, depend on them to get around. Correct. Wow. Correct. Well, I want to I wanna bless this man with a little something. It's not I too much. You do that too. But I want to give you uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3, 4,000 because I appreciate you so much. <laughs> And can, and can you tell him that I appreciate his smile because sometimes I'm having a bad day and then I come to the rickshaw drivers and they always have a smile on their face and that means a lot to me. Sure. Thank you so much. He praises God for this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, man. I'm so glad I met you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to our country. Go, go home and get some rest, man. Go see your wife. Go home and get some rest, okay? Okay. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much, man. Which state are you from? I'm from California, Los Angeles. Okay, okay. Yeah, but I have been to Mississippi River before. Wow, really? To you know Boston and Houston. Man, crazy. Yeah, amazing. So you're a Marine. I was in the Army. 
Army. Yeah, American, American Army. Yeah, American Army. Yeah, Man, yeah. nice to meet you, bro. Thank you. You know, dude, thank you so much for the translation because you made the video so amazing. No and problem. No problem. I really wanted someone to understand how grateful I am for them because no problem. No problem. it's because of them we've had an amazing time this trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I welcome you to our beautiful country. Thank you so much, man. I feel at home in Bangladesh. No Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, let's get out of here. Nice to meet you guys. Sir, thank you so much, sir. Nice to meet you. Brother, you have a YouTube channel or Yes, my channel is called Travel with Chris. Travel with Chris? Travel with Chris. Yeah, we can walk. I will subscribe. I just like to walk away after because some, uh, we just did it a few more times. I will walk. I will subscribe. Instantly. Okay, okay. Thank, Thank you. you, brother. All right, where's Brad? I left Brad. There he is. All right, man. I think I think we got the message across. I think you guys were able to see how hard those people are. And based off the few interactions we had with people, you can see how important that job is. And they're not taken for granted. You've seen that man, Marine. Thank God for our Marines. Thank God for our, our, our service members who keep our country safe. Everybody needs them. Um, you are doing a good job. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I love those people, man. They're the best. Oh, hard work, hard work. We need those people. Yes, and yes. I hope that job never goes away. Yes, yes, They're important. Yes. Thank you, brother. Yes. Huh? No, 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 no. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. All right, Brad. Well, we're going to keep it going. So I'm not just handing out money. You see, a lot of people respect that. I respect the hardworking people, but I have no more cash on me anyway. Give, give me your uh, ID. Yes, travel with Chris. Okay, okay. In YouTube or YouTube, Facebook, both. Right, right, right. Yeah, let me write for you. Thank you, sir. You're most welcome. Nah. Are you from Dhaka? Yes. Man, crazy fun place. I love nah. it. There's no place in the world like Dhaka. Crazy place. Nah. That's me, sir. Yes, sub subscribe, subscribe, no problem. Hey, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, you're sir. Good man. You're, a good man. you're a good man. Thank you. It's thank nice you. meeting you. Thank you, brother. You, you, you make it to Facebook, okay? Yes, Facebook, same one. Okay, here. Yeah, we're not we're not missing out on the opportunity to have friends, man. This is my place. This, this is my place. Okay. 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 I'm selling uh, original Indian lockdown trays. Okay. Oh, cool. Good, very, very good color Okay. Okay. Send me a message. Okay. Let me see. Oh, internet slow today. Oh, declined the call. He declined the call. Okay. No. 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 Okay, let me see. Well, I'm very busy man, you know. I know, you You look like a busy man, man. But I love your uh, jobs, okay? Thank you, thank you. You are doing good jobs. Thank you, look, this is me, I follow, okay? <laughs> okay. Nice you, to meet you, okay? You follow me, okay? Okay, you send me a message. Send me a message. Nice meeting you, sir. And I think today we have been able to make a large impact and hopefully you guys all share this video, comment. Please share it across Facebook, share it everywhere. Let's let the whole world and Bangladesh know how important the rickshaw drivers are and how we need to protect them. How did you feel about the video, Brad? Oh man, that felt great. I love watching them smile, dude. Like, it makes such a big difference. I can't imagine someone doing that to me if I was doing that job. Yeah. Well, hopefully everybody that I gave some money to will be able to go home, get some rest, and enjoy a nice day off. With that being said, guys, I'll see you again soon for another adventure from here in Bangladesh. Oh, and excuse me, if you guys want to see more videos, go show some love from Brad. Leave him a comment like Chris sent me here, <laughs> and he'll definitely appreciate it. So, yeah, later, guys. Peace out. You are always smarter.